Today I'm going to be talking about swing plane and path for the single plane golf swing which I teach which is the setup for impact golf swing and I've been teaching the single plane golf swing for 25 years now and it's a concept that should be pretty easy to understand but a lot of people get confused with it because there's various people teaching it and uh, the concept's been around for almost a hundred years and the main idea being that a swing plane, you could think of it like a sheet of glass like Ben Hogan did. This is a plane and it's inverted and we're going to swing the club as close to as possible on this swing plane. That would be a single plane if it was right on that same plane the whole swing. In conventional golf what we see is people setting up with the hands low and then making impact on a higher plane and they end up being on multiple planes. So I'm going to be talking about path and plane in this video. First do me a big favor if you haven't already subscribed here click the red subscribe button below hit the bell to accept notification and a thumbs up really helps my channel grow. Thank you very much. And so when we talk about path it's really important to understand that we need the club head moving towards the target or very close to on a path at impact that's straight towards the target. And so people get confused then of thinking should they take it inside on the back swing or straight back. Uh, some even try to take it to the outside. Uh, if you look at what the top players in the world do, you won't find hardly a single person who takes the club back to the inside. Now that's simply because it puts you on a poor path to getting back to the ball. It's obviously easier if we were over the ball like this this would be a perfect single plane and straight path. And so the closer we stand to the ball, as we do in putting, the easier it would be to be not only on a single plane, but to have a straight path and have a square face, which is very, very important. And so uh, some teaching single plane have actually tried to change the definition of what single plane is. And really it's something that can't be changed. A single plane is here uh, the plane that we're moving the golf club on and you can't change it and say we're going to take it under the plane and then come back onto the plane and hope to be on that plane through impact. It simply uh, doesn't happen uh, for most people that I've seen and from teaching people to try to swing like Mo what actually happens is people go underneath here they're crossed at the top they come down from inside and then the club path is to the right of target coming into impact. So in order to hit the ball to the target what has to happen is uh, the club needs to be closed relative to the path in order to hit the ball to the target. So if you look at Bryson DeChambeau he sets up fairly close to the ball and he's taking the club straight back and very close to on plane uh, at the top of the swing and throughout the golf swing. Focusing of course the most important part to be perfectly on plane is from here to here. So I look at the plane not as like a plane of glass but something that's a little bit thicker like a 2 by 4 and we want to stay within that corridor here when we're swinging. So I'll put uh, that if you look at the video here of me uh, set up and moving the club back you can see how it stays within that plane back and through. So what I recommend doing if you've been practicing going this way and the reason people are going off plane and people are copying Mo, what you're being told is to go that way. And the problem is they even have you coming down here and from here the only way to get the, the ball to the target would be with a closed club face because you can't adjust from here and get the club back on path without going that way. And so what I'll have you do in to correct this and I work with tons of people who are trying to simplify the concept and it's simply practice here doing this setting up and then we want to focus here on the rotation of the body starting with the legs hips and upper body 
and especially the leading shoulder and have when we're rotating back the club is has the feeling that it's moving straight back it is curving to the inside of the target line uh, but what's happening the club at horizontal would be pointed straight back away from the target so if you look at the grip it's pointed right towards the target which is this big tree here and so you could practice that way going there and as we go up so I'll go this way and uh, the feeling is it's pretty straight back now if you've been doing this for a long time most likely you're also flipping the club through impact in order to get the ball to the target so we we'll want to do my impact drills and my drills on setupforimpact.com will help you fix the path fix the plane but really fix the club face and give you perfect impact uh, so you can check that out in the description below so I'll start out if I'm working on plane first making sure that I set up on my impact plane so I'm set up here and to do that my wrists are uncocked and then I might swing a couple times back and forth that gets the club moving a bit like a pendulum that's more straight back and straight through so Bryson DeChambeau would call this kind of a zero a zero shift motion as they talk about in the golf machine where the club is not deviating or shifting off plane so your goal should be when you look at video and members of my website can send in videos for my review and your goal should be the club moving as closely as possible on the same plane especially from here to here and as we're coming down here to there and that would give you a neutral straight path through impact with the face square to that path and so I if I'm practicing I would start really with some short swings like that and then hit a couple shots like that right dead center over the tree and so I really just try to feel it's going this way I even feel in the past when I was trying to copy Mo I would rotate the upper body like that and that's what had the club going inside that really puts you in a bad position so now I even feel when I'm going back I feel that this wrist here is staying in the starting position so I'm going back and that's what Bryson DeChambeau does as well it's going back and nothing's really happening here uh, so it goes there there's not so if you could see if I bow the wrist a little bit going back and roll the lead arm early all of a sudden I'm inside and now you're gonna have to correct for that as you're swinging through so I feel this I'm going back that way body turn left shoulder under hit it dead straight perfect so give it a try let me know if this makes sense in the comments below uh, if you have any comments or questions pop them in the box and again please subscribe here to my channel I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day